Next, we're getting ready to dig some holes, but first we gotta take the tiller off. And on the trailer is still sitting the postal digger from a couple weeks ago. Just digging holes always hard work. good. We got the uh, post hole digger ready to be unpacked so let's get to it and get it onto the bucket. this is. So we just have to figure out how to mount it. For the auger. So let's get everything over into the yard and we'll have a little more space to set it up. I've never done this before. All right, we got our pile of pieces here. So we got our auger, we got our boom, we got our yoke, we got our drive shaft. Let's see what we need to do to put this thing together. Alright, well I'm glad this thing came with instructions. Alright, I'm getting it. So this mounts here. And then that mounts to the back of the tractor on the upper three point. pair of chat locks. Come on girl, you want to be on camera? So I'm going to find a large crescent wrench for this and a pair of channel locks to tighten those down tight, but those mount here. So let me go grab that stuff. All right, so I got my big crescent wrench and big channel locks. I'm going to tighten this all down on both sides of the yoke here.
Ooh, don't lose this. This is a set screw for what I don't know yet. And that's another reason why we're always falling behind here. Before I lose it, let's put this on. This just holds all the paperwork goodies. That goes there. Oh boy. Ugh. All right, this is definitely the part where you want your friend, but you're here running solo today at Sparkle Farm. So there's the pin with a couple cotter pins on either side. I'm just smashing it down. I can take the one cotter pin out. So I'm just moving it enough so I can get it onto this right here and then put it back in. It is uh, pretty heavy. Oof. Alright, that wasn't too bad. This is coming along pretty sweet. All right, pretty nice. They got these protection pieces up. Okay, let me show you, I think, the most important part of this. All right, I hope you can see it. But this is... Honey, honey, come on. Come here. Show everybody. All right, so right up here, this is where the shear bolt goes. And then vertically, there's a hole here and a hole here. And that's where the shaft bolt's on. But this is the one where... The they say not to use anything more than a grade 5 bolt. So that's something that came with us, but we're going to get a handful of those to put here on a, in our storage thing on it. All right. Something else that needs to be done on here before you go to install the drive shift is, well, obviously play with honey, but get some grease, grease in the universal joint okay one side Ooh. oh I just take grease guns all right, so let's get this mounted and get our uh, shear bolt in, and then we'll get our auger in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Stop, please, honey. All right, right in here, there's a little set screw. And Alan, it's just past it. That's the oh, Baby, you want to be? All right, so while she's out playing, there's this little set screw that's in there that's barely catching, so that's stopping me from putting it on. So let's go find our Allens. All right, so I got my Allen keys and I backed out the set screw that's on top here. So now I should be able to slide it in. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna Now I can turn it and do whatever I want with it. So it comes with the lock washer and a nut. So we'll tighten that down. So I was looking at it a little closer and so my A-frame is still down from when I uh, dropped off the rototiller and I was a little nervous because my auger is taller than this and I'm on my highest point here. So just remember that, don't uh, scare yourself. All right, so we're down to these large bolts here for the auger. So I'm gonna tighten up the shear pin. Everything else is tight or locked down. So let me just grab a half inch Alright, so I got that nice and flat, so I'm going to fire up the tractor and raise this up, and then we can get our auger attached. So you want to attach those so this isn't spinning while you got your PTO engaged. So let's set this set screw. Right, I think we're locked and loaded there. All right, let's fire it up and I'll raise this up.
All right, I don't know if you could have heard me, but I locked these these uh, two bolts down here. There's a set screw in here along with, this is where the shear pan is. So don't use anything, and then manual says don't use anything stronger than a grade five. All right, so right here and right here are for filling. This is, looks like the breather for it. And then, then this is just the fill line. So I'm gonna, I took both of them out obviously. I'm gonna set them there for now. And I got my 80 W90. It's got some hanging around. I'm gonna have to, have to go look for some more in the workshop. So it says it takes about two pints. But I'm going to fill it up to the bottom yeah. of, so it just comes out of the screw. <coughs> Thank you for all your help, honey. Honey's wild today. So honey rained down a squirrel the other day. And so now she's obsessed with hunting everything out here. That is definitely not enough that I had, so I'm gonna go on the hunt and find some more. You know, it's still a still new piece of equipment, so don't wanna wreck it just yet. Uh, that's why hopefully we'll be able to build this like three-sided shit in, in, in the near future. All right, well that's all I'm gonna do with the rototiller. It's on a pallet and covered, so I'm gonna call that good. Then uh, let's go back to the postal digger. All right, so we got the, our Country line postal digger all set up. My dad picked up the rest of the oil I needed for the gearbox. So we're gonna do our uh, first hole with it. All right, so these are just a couple test holes. Everything seemed to work out pretty good. Definitely gonna need to figure out the stabilizer chains to keep this from wobbling around so much. But this sure beats uh, any of the other postal diggers we have on the property. All right, so we're gonna mark out the dog pen area. And uh, I don't know, that went pretty smooth, but We'll see how well Mark and everything goes if we're setting post tonight. All right. Thanks for tuning in.